This is a complete and utter travesty of justice. The Supreme Court has already held that Mr. Jatoi had committed terrorism. The Supreme Court has already re-imprisoned Mr. Jatoi while deprecating a Sindh High Court uh, acquittal order. Even otherwise, if the Supreme Court were to hold that the offence was not terrorism, it had full authority to reject a compromise or a blood pardon on the basis that it was accepted under duress or on the basis that it was creating facade fillers or on the basis that it has complete uh, power to do what it can through the majesty of justice which we've already seen in the Sadiq versus state uh, precedent amongst other things this has to go to a review and all of the supreme court's own precedent in this case has to be applied this conveys a, a, a singular message that the elite has a law completely unto itself and that everybody else is fair game.